you kicking it with? All right, come on, run so it you back. Say, you gonna say who you kicking with? I'm gonna say. Do it look like I'm left off bad and bougie? What'd you say? Do it look like I'm left off bad and bougie? Nah, I mean it don't. Yo, it's Shot by Kel, and I'm kicking it with Yoshi. First off, of course, I want to thank you for coming out. Appreciate um, you. It's very, very, very imperative that we capture our creatives here in the DMV because uh, no one has done it yet, you know. So I just feel like it, it was time to really do something different for us um, shooters. Ooh, well, I'm always say always be a student of the game. If you done learning, then you you shouldn't be doing it anymore. You should always continue learning. So I'm still learning. I'm always gonna be a student. But as far as like my early come up, it, I would have to say like a three or four maybe. Only because like um, when I first started out with the camera, my dad gave me my uh, gave me his camera. He's a shooter by the way, and he gave me his camera at my aunt's wedding and everything. And he just let me run around, have fun. I was just taking pictures of any and everything. He just told me how to basically point, focus, and shoot. So you started like as a kid? Yeah, uh, I would say yeah, probably like middle school, middle seventh school. grade. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that was cool. Like that was really like, my first experience really with a camera and everything. And then. I got into high school and I had to do electives and everything, and I was just like, well, we got these cameras at home, so I might as well do pick up photography. Make it make sense, for so, sure. So, uh, that part of the education became a little more intense. That's why I probably put it on a three or four scale, but it was still fun, all in all. Uh, I know the exact moment. Um, I would say it was my junior, it was my junior year going into my senior year of high school. My uh, Two of my boys, uh, Cedric and AG, RP AG. Uh, AG was a rapper, Cedric was a graphic designer, but they started this group called Starlight. And um, when I was in school, I did not take taking pictures serious or anything. I was literally just doing it for fun. And I used to get on the uh, sidelines for all the sports and games and everything. Like it was just some fun. I never took it serious, but everyone enjoyed my work, and it was two of the people, so they came and asked me to be a part of their group and <laughs> we just took off from there and like that's when uh, I would say everything became serious because I was going to the studios almost every day, we was in there every night mm -hmm. doing our thing and then um, what makes me go so hard right now like till this day and forever will be um, you know losing AG you know it's I would say it's about to be almost six years now and I got it tatted on my leg and everything, like, going off a of rope. Like, I know a lot of people probably now in the DMV don't really uh, know about AG or who he was and everything, but he was the next <laughs> upcoming thing. And he had songs with everybody that you uh, probably love and admire now, such as Big Fog, Light Show, and whoever else you can name. So yeah, that's why I go hard now. Don't chase clout. Oh, well, don't chase clout. Like. Um, for anybody up and coming, like, yeah, like, please build your following. That's very important, but uh, learn what you want to shoot. Like, it's important to know, like, to shoot what you really love and, like, everything isn't for you. Now, I'm not saying limiting yourself to anything because I don't limit myself to nothing. Go get that money. But as far as, like, photography or videography or graphic design or any art uh, industry, find your lane. Find what you love to do the most. And you know, rock out with that, perfect that. Like, that's what I would say. Um, well, I would say my peers. If I had to put it in order, like you know, three to one, I would say my peers, number three, two. Um, shout out to all the women in my life, um, from my mom to uh, my sisters, uh, not my blood, they, they practically my, like my blood sisters, but uh, Jay and Jalen uh, Bowden, a uh, makeup artist and a dope graphic designer, like they push me hard uh, every day to be the best that I am, just uh, watching them and everything. And uh, even being able to come up with them, I, I really appreciate that and like everyone that they have put into my life. So shout out to them. Um, you know, I, I probably just said my mom, but she she's a hustler. That's where I get my hustling spirit from. And 
you know, it's a, yeah, it's a lot of women. Shout out to all the women. Like, it's a lot of dope, creative women out here. So I would say that's my number two. Like, I really admire them. And uh, number one, I would say it's like music and uh, music artists. I really would say a lot of my uh, projects or inspirations, and even how I dress come from uh, people like A$AP Rocky, Chris Brown, Travis Scott, um, yeah, they had a, like a big influence on a lot of my artistry. I would say, I don't know, I've always just been networking, but my like, I think my first major big break was doing Rico's Nasty's first photo shoot uh, with her and Tino Lau for their uh, cover and everything. Shout out to Tino for setting that up. That's uh, still family to this day. But I would say, yeah, that like, and that was years ago. Like that was lit. See. Kel been working, y'all. He been working, man. Within the next five years, I see myself, oh, like I say, it's on God's time and God's plan, but I have a plan myself, too, and, you know, praying every day, but uh, hopefully, you know, millionaire, borderline millionaire, uh, a lot of people don't know, uh, I'm a businessman as well, so um, if I can say anything to the young creatives is, like I said, don't chase the clout. There's so much money to be made out here. Like, make sure you network and use your connections. Talk to everybody, because there's so much people, my bad, there's so many people out here that need photographers or videographers. So don't limit yourself to IG or wanting to be the next rapper. So, you know, photographer, videographer, because that was my main lane at one point, just wanting to stick to music. And, you know, I had to really, uh, <laughs> you know, wake myself up and tell myself it's so much more out here. It's really a lot more out here. So please don't limit yourself. Like, man, I can't go into my plans for <laughs> 2021, but go, go get some contracts. Go talk to some businesses, man. It, people, people need photographers out here. I mean, I are you saying like just stay here, like only just doing work here? Uh, well, I would I would never advise against that because I feel like, like I said, you're gonna be limiting yourself. Like I've done work in L.A., Florida, um, Las Vegas, uh, Massachusetts, New York. You know, just any state you can name. Uh, so I would never limit myself to the D.M.V. But yeah, you can make it out the D.M.V. It, it's been it's been done before. People people are doing it now. So I got a lot of boys. They because I got a lot of boys that photographers. I am not about to name not one of y'all <laughs> or all of y'all because I don't want to forget nobody. I totally just know did. I love all. So of just name one person then. Just uh, one person off the top of your brain that 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 you just see their work or you see them working and it just make you want to just work. <laughs> you doing that to me? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with my young man, uh, my young boy Justin. Just, just those shoots. He, he, he out here grinding like he. Uh, right now he's finding which lane he really wants to uh, go into. But in these last like the one or two months, I've seen his growth tremendously. Like, like he started in the uh, rap game too, like shooting music videos and everything. And now he's doing everything from cars to boxing, like. Like even That's his, fire. like it, not just his videos, but his pictures done like went like I'm started going too. even crazier too. So That's yeah, it. like shout out to him. Um, uh, I don't know if y'all know about Dan Foger, but I mean he one of my people that like always inspired me because he was Wiz photographer for mm -hmm. the longest. Uh, they came up together and everything, and then he started his own um, jewelry company, Shop GLD or Shop Go, as most of y'all might know of. Or oh, y'all might not know he owns it, but uh, he's like I said, I'm a businessman, so you do your research too. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to have like Multiple. like we saw her earlier, like more than five to seven streams of income. Like there's more ways to get it than just photography and videography, but that's what's been opening up doors for me. So I'm gonna let that keep uh, leading the path for me until you know everything else just come to one, come come together as one all the time. Uh, don't let it ever discourage you though. But I mean, yeah, clients hit you up in your DMs or emails, and they 
give you this whole big brand idea and then you send them your price and they're like okay cool then you start planning and coordinating um everything that you want to do and you basically help them plan out the whole shoot and everything and then when it's kind of time to come uh, send a deposit there you know they go ghost and everything and then next thing you know it's a, a five months later they hit you up again for about a different shoot but i mean it's just the way the game go you know, talk it up keep it moving don't never take it personal because like i said you gotta be open uh you gotta still be open to that they hit you back up yeah they were a little unprofessional the first time but hey man either you're gonna take the money or you not <laughs> i was real big on concert photography uh still am that's part still like my favorite thing that's why i can't wait for corona to be over so we get back into that but Concert photography was probably my biggest thing. That's probably how I got most of my following that I do now and everything. Just uh, like I enjoy editing those or you know creating some type of motion graphic or doing just doing stuff like trying to bring the, my Instagram audience or whoever views my pictures into that uh, uh, concert experience. So that was like my main thing. But uh, usually I reach out to people and ask, "Can I shoot?" Uh, the show is very so often that I have people come to me and uh, you know pay me to shoot the show but I'm yeah, cool. normally I'm cool. Yeah. I'm cool I look because I most of the time I get to meet some of my favorite rappers they take me on the tour bus autograph sometimes I get gear and, and it always leads to some other type of connection like even if they don't remember you their manager or somebody from their crew is gonna remember you especially if you get pictures of everybody don't just get the artist I'm telling you like it take you a long way but anyways Somebody hit me up about doing a show for a big artist. I ain't about to put no names out there, but I was supposed to uh, come to the field more. They told me they had the money, the passes. They told me, you know, I could bring an extra person. So, like, that's why I was, like, really hurt because I felt embarrassed, too, because I had brought another a shooter with me telling them, you know, they're a young shooter, get them their first experience at this. Right. Like, I don't know, I just felt like, I just felt, it, like, I felt real good leading up to everything, and then, when we got to the box office, it was nothing there. And I got to do a number, I'm DMing them, like nobody's wow. answering, nobody replying back. So hurt. Chinky business, man. <laughs> yeah, so like, I, I ain't know, like, the, uh, my bro, that, him being my, my, my young bro, like, I really appreciate him to this day, really. Uh, you talking about the other shooter? Yeah, the other shooter, yeah, yeah. He was like, bro, don't even worry about it, like, we good. like. F, F them, like, <laughs> we good. Yep. And I was hurt. I told myself I was never going to do uh, concerts ever again. Little did I know I was lying to myself. Like, That's how I go when you're yeah, passionate. I definitely got back to it. <laughs> I don't want to say I battle with too much, but um, I would say, like, the market is a little oversaturated. I don't even want to say oversaturated because I, I love everybody that do photography if you have a camera like please everyone pick up pick up one if you can so i don't even want to say oversaturated but with it being so many of us i don't think everybody truly knows their value like like it's so important to know y'all value so and with me saying that it could be a shooter that shoots this amazing work and they charging like 75 dollars when they could really be out here getting like 300 you feel me so you know, with me saying my prices and you saying, you know, your cheaper prices, like, I mean, I don't mind you getting a job, but I still want you to get paid what you're supposed to be getting paid. That's, that's all, like, I think that's the biggest thing. But, I mean, as long as everybody getting it, I'm still going to get mine, so <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> all right, man.